Hey guys, it's DC here and today I'm answering some questions from last week that you guys have posted in the Discord server. For those of you who might be interested in joining the Discord server, there's a link below in the description. So, first question is from Meltdown404 and he said, question here, have you ever thought of doing one-to-one -one in person training? And uh, yeah, the answer is yes, I have, but I've never really got around to it because it, it's quite time consuming and with the different time zones it's a, a little bit difficult especially being in australia i'm basically in the opposite time zone of everyone except for china <laughs> yeah it's yeah it's just a little bit hard based on time zones i'd pretty much have to just not sleep to get that done next question we have here from nerevar and he said question for dc will a marketing background help with a cybersecurity career short answer no uh, but long answer, maybe if you want to get into security sales. So if you want to become like an account manager for someone like Fortinet or Checkpoint Palo Alto, something like that, um, having technical skills as well as that marketing background might actually help you in becoming a marketer for security products, but actually doing uh, like the technical hands-on stuff, no, unfortunately it won't. Next question is from ellie and he has said how long is too long to stay on help desk if you're looking to branch out into other it areas like sysadmin networking or security can you lock yourself into a specific area of it by staying in a role for too long and i understand that too long is relative but you get the point yeah okay so yeah you can sort of stay in help desk for too long where um, I guess you sort of become the go-to help desk guy and it is a little bit hard if you don't have any other certifications to move out of help desk. So for example, if you're a help desk officer with a uh, MCSE or any of those Microsoft certs and that's all you have, you have like, I don't know, five years of help desk experience, which I don't know if anyone could actually deal with that, but I guess it happens. That's, um, that's too long. You've been in help desk too long and people are going to take advantage of that. And people, I mean like recruiters or employers, because they know that you're good at doing help desk because you've been in it for so long and they're gonna be pretty happy to keep you there if you don't wanna move up. So my advice to you would be to specialize in some sort of um, more advanced uh, system. For example, networking or systems admin or uh, Linux sysadmin something like that right and if you were to go into networking from help desk you would get like a ccna or a network plus that would then certify you for that and then you have the experience in there for like one or two years of help desk realistically you only really need one or two years anything more than that on a help desk is probably too long so i guess that sort of answers the question but yeah it's sort of relative to where you are and what those companies are looking for like a lot of the time they ask for experience of eight plus years or something ridiculous which i should probably make a video about but cybersecurity recruiters have the most unrealistic expectations of pretty much any industry so just take their requirements as like a, a pass off and apply for the job anyway next is from tari 3960 and they have said question here and maybe a simple and easy question but in the second year of high school I will have to choose between web applications development or network computer systems administration considering that in the future I would like to do computer engineering and then computer security thank you for your attention so I guess you're asking which one you should choose and if you want to get into computer security I would highly highly recommend network computer systems based on that Cybersecurity and networking are like two peas in the same pod. They're like brother and sister, if you want to put it in that sort of way. To understand like how to defend an environment or even to attack an environment, understanding how the networking layer works is so important. It's also really interesting to sort of learn um, how things sort of traverse across computer systems and it's, it's all based on networking, right? So they, they all talk to each other through networking Networking is going to be the one to go for if you want to get into cybersecurity down the line. 
Saying that though, you could also do web app pen testing specifically if you want to do web app development or you could just build apps and uh, let someone else do the security side of things. Next question is from Zini and he said, what is the best way to get an entry level job within cybersecurity? It's a pretty tricky question because a lot of the jobs in cybersecurity aren't really entry level. They're more based on that you have experience in other areas of IT already. For example, sysadmin or network engineers or even help desk if you want to go from there. So I would recommend working at a managed service provider starting off do like any sort of level one, level two, level three role that you can get. Gain as many certifications as you can in cybersecurity with the experience of a couple of years and then move into a specific cybersecurity engineer role. It's uh, it's not an easy answer, but it's, it's not an easy question, unfortunately. So yeah. Next question is from Thickman. And he said, does doing a double degree of cyber slash crim make you more employable? Um, having two degrees is always better than one, so yeah, for sure. I would still want to tie in something like a Security Plus if it's not included in one of those degrees, but uh, just to sort of really solidify that you are a cybersecurity expert. So yeah, that would be my answer to that one. The last question for today is from 192.168.0.1, and he has said, which country has the best cybersecurity salary? Uh, pretty tricky question. The US has really good salaries but also Singapore and Australia have great salaries as well. New Zealand's not far behind those three. The UK sort of pays rubbish, to be honest. So yeah, I'd be looking at, if it was me from another country other than Australia, I'd look at Australia or the US. Um, in Australia, it's far less competitive than the US because there's less people here. However, getting a visa to work here is a very tricky thing sometimes. So um, yeah, you might want to take that into consideration as well. Anyway, that's all I have time for today, guys. Thanks for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions for the next video or throw them on cybersecguidance.com forward slash forum. That's where I read most of these questions from other than my Discord channel. And uh, yeah, subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one. Catch you later.